Our typical patient is one who's had vertigo and dizziness for several years. They're severely incapacitated by it, and they've been to see nine or ten doctors and still have had no relief. About ten years ago, we analyzed a uh, hundred consecutive new patients to the practice. And interestingly enough, we found that the uh, average patient from the onset of his symptoms to the first visit was 56 months. Some of the patients that get here um, arrive with lives that have been totally devastated. It's a mental battle. You know, you wake up and all of a sudden how you function for 42 years is, is not gonna be how you function for whatever manner of time God gives you on this earth. Dizzy patients are the most complex patients. They're the ones my colleagues find most challenging, and it's mainly because they take up so much time. I mean, I can spend a few minutes with somebody and tell them that they're, they've got an inner ear problem, but the full evaluation is to figure out what type of inner ear problem they have. I'm Dr. Jared Giannoli, and I'm a neurootologist. I'm Dr. Swallow, an otologist. My practice is dealing with patients with vertigo and balance and equilibrium disorders. We specialize solely in ear and skull base related disorders. What makes the patient care here special is the individualized, very personal attention that they receive. Everything is so patient focused. I'm Dr. Casey Harvey and I'm an audiologist. We get patients from all over the world including Norway, Sweden, UK, France, Germany, Switzerland, uh, New Zealand. Patients get referred to us for two reasons. They come to us because of our testing capacity. We have probably the most extensive audio vestibular testing lab anywhere. Two, because of our decades of experience in treating vestibular disorders and our reputation of being able to fix problems that no one else can fix. A good diagnosis related to vertigo is a very accurate, complete data set. In essence, the more data you have, the more likely you are to come up with the proper diagnosis. From my standpoint, you think about it, you know, we get a, I get a patient, new patient here, and I'll see him, and I will spend an hour plus with him. My colleagues are spending five minutes. You give me an hour with somebody and give anybody, the best person in the world, five minutes, they're not going to beat me. You know, the doctors care about every single patient. It's just a, a much different feel at this clinic. Um, our ultimate goal is to honestly not have the patients come back, to not see them again, because that means they're well. Um, sometimes the patients are disappointed, they want to come back and visit, they, um, they like being here, they, they like um, the consistency of our clinic and the camaraderie that they feel from our staff. But really, the, the best result is if they don't ever have to come back, because that means they're well and they're back on their way to living a normal life again. You know, honestly, I have changed some things in the practice of law and how I interact with my clients based on what he does here. Uh, I have that much respect for what he does here. Uh, I would, I'm indebted to him and I'm thankful to him. Uh, I think that he, he cares about his people. Uh, he cares about not only his patients but his employees and, and you see that in the way they treat you and the way you're treated. Uh, and uh, he takes the time necessary, but I, I think as important as that and, and what complements it is is he has an expertise that he has, you know, taken the time and the discipline to, to bring to bear for our benefit. So I would tell him thank you, simply. Some patients come here and their lives have been devastated. The most rewarding part of my job is getting someone's life back. I like to see people able to live again, to get their lives back, to move forward, not just exist, but to actually live. There's really nothing better in life than actually helping people get better, and that's the major part of the human experience, is to help people, and that's what I do. I've had patients stand here with tears running down their face telling me, honey, you just don't know how this man has saved my life. One of our staff members, Andrea, is so good and kind with the patients. All of our staff are, but when you leave here, it's like leaving someone's home. Andrea is offering you coffee or water for the road or treats, and she tells you if it's raining outside to be careful. I love hearing that. It's a constant reinforcement that we're doing the right thing here.